when Santa squeezes his fat white ass down that chimney tonight, he's gonna find the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house. Today on another pop review, we're gonna be taking a look at the pop movies National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, number 242. This is Clark Griswold. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. As I said today on the show, we're taking a look at the pop movies, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 242. This is Clark Griswold. As you can see, there's a nice little window side here of Clark Griswold drinking his eggnog. Nice little window side there. And then the back, we have Santa and his sleigh flying on fire in front of the moon. 242 is Clark Griswold, 243 is Cousin Eddie. And then we have the display side here, which has the house all lit up ready for Christmas and Clark getting electrocuted up top there. We also have the Cousin Eddie's uh, mobile home or RV whatever you want to call it and the Griswold's tree or car with a tree tied to the uh, roof. Now let's go ahead and open this box up and take a look at Clark Griswold. As you guys can see, old Sparky here does not need a display stand. He does stand quite well on his own. Nice, very nice pop. However, there is quite a bit of paint bleeding, uh, some paint error. Uh, quality control wasn't, kind of fell asleep on the job with this one. Uh, you got a lot of white bleeding off onto the red of the hat there, onto the hand. Uh, the red bleeding off onto the bells on his hat. Uh, and then you got some red bleeding off into the white on his uh, coat. But overall, still not a bad figure. Here he is with his moose mug uh, made out of a clear plastic with his spiked eggnog. Santa jacket, uh, and then his dress clothes, uh, very nice, very movie accurate, his head does spin all the way around, does not get hindered at all. Uh, I kind of wish they would have maybe uh, included the squirrel, maybe on the back of his jacket, or off to the side or something. That would have been pretty nice. As you can see inside the mug you can make out the yellow. Uh, they should have maybe made it more of a cream color though because eggnog is a cream color. 
Um, but still not bad. And then you got... I think that's his uh, membership of the Jelly to the Jelly of the Month Club in his pocket. And again, you got some red paint in between his fingers there. But overall, not a bad pop. I really, I really like it. I do plan on getting Cousin Eddie. Uh, however, this will be the last, the last Funko Pop review uh, for the year of 2018. Um, and also the last regular pop review as we will no longer be doing pop reviews every Tuesday. Uh, my collection is just getting too big guys. I apologize and since I'm doing this on my own now I can't really count on others to provide the pop reviews either. Um, Billy's pretty busy. Him and John are working on their channel, uh, The Logic, which I'll link in the description below, uh, which is more of a R-rated version of Comageddon. Uh, they talk more about wrestling and stuff like that. A few toy reviews. Um, not really much with comics, though, which I'm kind of surprised about, but it's their channel. They do what they want to do. I'm going to continue bringing you great content here on Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I hope you enjoyed these pop reviews. I will occasionally be doing other pop reviews as I get new pops, just not on a regular basis like I've done these past few years. So again, Merry Christmas, my friends. Have a happy new year, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.